And that leads to a train station. A train station sounds nice. All right. Um, well, Repcon headquarters. And about you, I'm thinking uh, they've got robots everywhere. So let's have a... He's not hostile. There is a lot of dead raiders. Okay. Fiend corpse. Frag grenade. Fiends. They're not raiders. They're fiends. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? How may I serve you, Master? Welcome to Repcon Headquarters, Rocketeer. Come all this way to see our little facility, have you? I'm here to answer any and all questions you may have, within specified parameters. And if you'd like, I can provide a tour of our museum. Okay, yes, definitely. I'd like... Well, first of all, tell me about it. I can answer whatever questions you'd like, provided your query is limited to Repcon history, research and development, or Robco. Okay, Repcon's history, thank Repcon's you very much. Repcon's illustrious history began way back in 2054, shortly after the famous Delta XI rocket was completed and launched. Repcon's initial focus was on the development of fuel to be used in orbital propulsion in response to the energy crisis of 2052. Sad times indeed. The company really took off when Robco purchased Repcon in late 2076 to develop unmanned rockets to explore the solar system. Okay, that is enough about Repcon. Very well. Feel free to ask me more about Repcon at any time. Don't be shy. The tour showcases Repcon's amazing scientific contributions and the promise of many more, coupled with its parent company, Robco. Okay, well, let... Oh. What about Rob... Oh, never mind. I'd like a tour of the museum. Excellent. Excellent. Please be patient. The tour will begin in just a moment. Okay. Ready Let's for the Repcon tour, Rocketeers? Courtesy Maybe. The fine folks at Robco. Oh, excellent. Our guide today on the path of scientific discovery. We're following. We're following. We're, we really am. We're... Okay. Boring gold. In the lead line case behind me is a spent radioactive rod from one of our old reactors. No need to stand too close. Let's move along, shall we? There's nothing there, dude. What's this? A dull rod? Not so, Rocketeers. This dull rod once powered Repcon's old nuclear-propelled rockets and still contains harmless... Asterisk footnote. Traces of radioactive material. As an exercise, stare closely at the rod and try to spot the telltale glow. Well, this case is lead-lined, standard in these cases, not specifically requested for this display. Do not touch, look, or stand too close to this exhibit. Keep your legs moving and see the rest of the museum. Okay. Well, what is this? There's a door. We have a... D Ooh, How nice. may I serve you, Mr. Look here. A row of multicolored okay, plasma fuels. Careful. They may look safe to drink, but your stomach is the last place they should be. Why the difference in safe. cylinder size? Refining our production methods has resulted in higher yields of fuel over time. That's why. All right. What does it say then? Plasma watt. Hold up, Rocketeers. What's this? This trio of cylinders isn't a trio of, cylin trio of cylinders at all. They're containers holding what some scientists call plasma. Can you say plasma? I have already done so twice. Repcon's always looking to the future, and in our future we don't have to worry about radiation, health risks, or lawsuits. The lawsuits one we definitely don't have to worry about anymore, mate. So yes, correct. When using this new and improved fuel source to blast our rockets into and out of the sky. Blasting the rockets out of the sky, okay. Clarification. Cylinders and plasma are factually correct designations of display items both by definition and by the scientific community. Okay. To my right, you can see a sample of some old safety barrels Repcon once used to store radioactive waste. <laughs> Perfectly safe. I love the way they left, pile up. Sample of a mountain of Repcon safety barrels oh. some legislators claim are poisoning our On your left. Okay. Ridiculous. I got it. On your left. Sorry. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Radioactive waste. We've all heard stories that radiation is dangerous. Fact or fiction? 
A common sight in factories, military ex installations, and the basements of selected government-funded middle schools, these safety battles are just what the name implies, safe. While their attractive colouring can be interpreted as a warning for Repcom, it's an invitation to a future filled with nuclear power. Rhetorical questions and non nomenclature of exhibit items cannot be used as a basis for criminal prosecution. Okay, we'll be there with a second. We'll just... Nuclear family. Why look here? A pile of itty-bitty safety barrels, all nested together like a family, sitting down to dinner. Now, while it's claimed even the safest nuclear waste disposal procedures seep poison into the environment that never ever goes away, in Repcon's case, we say it all depends on where you put them. And Nevada's just the place. <laughs> Nomenclature for hazardous waste barrels as per Repcon glossary specs. Bleah, I hate that word. Repcon doors. Keep following. Behind okay. me is our most recent rocket project. Behind which this we're one. Keeping under our hats until launch. If you'll pardon the expression. I've launched a few. Not actual size of the launch dome we are using to send our rockets screaming into orbit. Been there. Rockets away. Just like the rocket you see here, we're we're aimed at the sky, but we've got a ceiling in the way. Sea Rocketeers, while Repcom is, was, focused on non-radioactive propulsion engines, we still need to sneak back and use some of our older proven techniques with nuclear-driven engines to make space travel a reality. Partnered with our new buddy Robco, we've dug up older, cheaper technology for upcoming orbital projects. No worries, even if you can't always see what we're up to there, we can see you. Yes, that's not worrying. Any implication of radioactive material as negative is unintentional and in no way reflects Robco or its subsidiary Repcom. Ready, set, launch. Force your parents a short drive south and you'll see the retractable dome of Repcom's launch facility, not actual size. <laughs> you may have heard wild stories about rocket flights and their impact on nearby towns and communities, but Repcom feels that you can't put a price on space exploration. After all, Rocketeers, do you want to go into space someday, don't you? Statement is figurative and inadmissible as evidence in a court of law. Okay. Now these colourful fellows behind me are Repcon's earliest experiments in flight. Feel free to read the plaques and learn, Rocketeers. Okay. Green Beam. Officially called the Z43521P by silly engineers, we prefer to call this little scrapper by its true nickname, the Green Bean. After all, which would you prefer in your backyard garden? A smouldering Z43521P or a Green Bean? One sounds like it belongs if mentioned on the news and makes make news it did, featuring Repcon's plasma engine. It was so newsworthy that we decided to take the quantum matter modulation unit out and see if we could use it for a non-explosive uses. Rocket, nicknamed, chosen after results of first trial landing. Green bean. Okay. Big Fat Fiery Fred. V29321G may look like a big fat red rocket, Rocketeers, but old fatty here ran circles around the Earth not so long ago. So let's see you keep up. Sure, V29321G's re-entry gave it its more commonly known nickname, Big Fat Fiery Fred. But here at Repcon, we chose to focus on the successes and apply what we learned about explosive resistance shielding to future models and even our landing platforms. The newly reconstructed Repcon launch facility was a direct beneficiary of this discovery. And you are Needlenose. This sleek and purple R77293A needle nose is what happens when you mix fossil and plasma in a rocket and shake it up. The fossil fuels punch this sharp nosed terror through the sky, and the plasma is used to shoot it through space to planets where Repcon can mine more fossil fuels. Continuing the whole cycle again. Interplanetary mining a resource right still in negotiation. Okay. Whoa. Now for the highlight of our tour. Due to a generous donation from Robco, this next exhibit showcases the wondrous world of robots. All Around right. you are the incredible iBot, the fearsome Sentry Bot, and the <laughs> always helpful Eddie. Mr. Handy. Is you? That helpfulness oh. runs through our whole life. Kind of. Right. 
terrifying. And right, let's have a look. Hey, Eddie, look at this. The eye in iBot. Robco has always had an eye for robotics, and this little fellow is no different. The robotic, this robotic marvel can not only recognize your face and voice with advanced facial auditory recognition technology, it can also broadcast video and audio as well. Think of it, all the sights and sounds of your radio and TV in your living room, at home, blasted directly at you, on the street, subway, bathroom, or wherever you may be. Never fear, you'll never miss a news bulletin or presidential address again, no matter where you are. Exhibit brought to you by friends at Robco. Wait, you can play this movies for me? Oh, sorry. This model of our solar system is a small example of where the partnership between Robco and Repcon hopes to go. See those little rockets zipping about? They yep. are manned by robots, tirelessly looking for resources to mine on planets beyond our own. And that's it for our tour today, Rocketeers. Robco and its tiny partner, Repcon, thank you. Any further questions, please feel free to ask. Okay, well, you're not exactly Carl Sagan, but thank you anyway. The hand in handy. You never can have too many hands. Three, why not four? That was Robco's inspiration by the popular and cost-effective Mr. Handy model. The first of the line shown here, always a help around the household. Whether with mom in the kitchen using a titanium circular power saw, or in the garage with dad using its armor-piercing laser array. Mr. Handy is not just helpful, he's your friend too. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Okay. That's okay. It's got wheels. Some folks asked why not a Protectron with wheels. Robco wasn't afraid to answer that question. The Protector Bot is the answer. While safety standards prevented this freewheeling dynamo from entering mass market production, despite Robco's best intentions and team of lawyers, we take consolidation in letting you in letting you can see this extremely well-funded experiment as it was intended. A robot moving so fast it looks like it's standing still. Exhibit brought to you. Yeah, okay. And th this, that looks horrible. I'm glad I don't keep meeting any of those. Watch your step. Whoa, watch your step. You don't want to be facing this fearsome fellow if you accidentally stumble into a restricted area. Whether sporting the latest in dual miniguns, rockets, or laser cannons, the sentry bot not only takes its job seriously, it also takes no prisoners. It's proof of Robco's commitment to defense that those deadly guards are concealed in chambers throughout this facility. So let this be a warning. Watch where you step, or out will come Robco, guns blazing. Exhibit brought to you by your friends at Robco. Um, let me just make sure I've got pulse. Grenades chosen. Um, our rich, rich solar system. A model of our solar system, not actual size. Gee, beautiful, isn't it? Robco with its subsidiary rock. Oh, you know what? Is he going to go away? I can open it. X. No, not going to go in there yet because there was something. How may I serve you, Master? You can go away now. There was something over there. Right. We've had the tour. Ashtrays, coffee mugs, which I can use. Lunch boxes. Souvenir lunch boxes. Rocket souvenir, okay. Oh, another door. Ah. Caps. That'll do nicely. That Locked hard. We're never gonna open that. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep it. Okay, good, good. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Anything else to loot? Nope. Oh, Jenny Millet security key guard. That's probably gonna be useful. Activated. Alright, we got a security card. Does that mean. Can I get in that lock? No, I need a key to get in the locked door. Alright. Hello. What's this? How oh. may I serve you, mistress? Oh, right. Oh, right. How so you now. 
You said mistress. You did say mistress. Oh, you were speaking to her. Oh, I thought that was the security guard making everyone think I was um, a woman. That would have been useful, wouldn't it? And... All right, one door left then. Use key? Locked average use key? Unlocked with Jenny Millet's security key. Oh, okay. Everything's locked. How about... Terminal. Do I have any science? Do I actually have enough science skill? I don't, do I? I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't take science skill high enough. Skills. Science, 28. Best case scenario, I get 38. Plus I take some... Mentats. 48. I'm way off, aren't I? Oh! Oh! Um, Veronica. Can you? No, not attack it. Unauthorized facial pattern Ooh. detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Okay, that's kind of what I was... Well, not what I was doing, but... Alright, what if we go here? Nothing. She's not going to manage that. Microfusion cells. This place could be a wealth of cool stuff. Very hard. Ve oh, really? Did you fail? Did you fail? You failed, didn't you? You did, you failed. Really? Second floor! I wonder if... Am I going to be allowed in here? Um, I've got plenty of those back home. Oh! Hello? Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Excellent. Very easy, this is what we want to see, very easy. Set file protection owner, yeah, 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 got it, come on. Oh, get on with it. Um. Push, there we go. Because we've got to finish off the registration, he said. We need to find a terminal we can get to and register. Add user, f this is what we want. Brilliant! Inter-office correspondence. Hello, I will need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off this terminal, as well as reformat it with my personal information. Okay, Carl Rook. To Carl Rook from Sarah Wang. Mr. Rook, for the last couple of weeks I have seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before, and I'm fairly certain that it isn't a DOD approved method. I fear that these messages may be a sign of somebody sending insider information. Insider information about what? Mrs. Wang, please continue your investigations into the messages and keep me appraised of any progress you make. And in the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed. And please call me Carl. Well, you, know, you just know it. Carl's, Carl's the, the villain here, isn't he? To Carl Rook from Sarah Wang. Carl, I've made some prog progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, somebody's sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon. But I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim, Sarah. Okay. Right. We're in the system. I think. Which hopefully means we can run around looting like a maniac. Now I've got loads of those as well. A Braxo cleaner. Useful. Useful stuff. Another lunchbox. Oh. 
I missed the lunchbox, believe it or not. Lots of nice ammo. Nope, just a little bit. You know what, I should really be being a bit more careful, shouldn't I? There could be mines knowing my luck. God, I've got to, I've got to dump some stuff already. God, I can't walk like half a mile without getting overloaded. Was this it? I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. Hello? See, we're I'm fine. You, oh my god, it's a good job we're fine, isn't it? We'd be in some serious trouble. Right, okay. Locked, average, locked, average, really? Locked, hard? Oh. Now, where do we came from? We came from here. There was another door, I think, or another passage. We came out of there. Okay, there is an upstairs. Top floor. Before we do that, let's try and check all the places we can check down here without decent lock picking skills. That's another thing I need to raise. Lock pick. Of course, of course. Okay, I can Don't get up there that way. Yeah, no, thank you. I think we've got enough lunch boxes now, don't you? Oh, we'll take those. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, Eddie. Traps. How many? All of them, thank you. War hat. Take it. Don't have one. And I think we're done in there. We can actually go up there as well. Okay. Oh. Ow. Locked. Easy. I can actually break in that way. I don't need to, though. It's these rooms I need to break into. I don't need to break into the upstairs area because I have... Or do I? No, I didn't. I wasn't locked, was it? Nope. Now, hopefully this... Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Um... Oh, God, look. Oh, I need seven luck. Oh, God, and you know what? I'm wearing lucky spurs. But they only give one point of luck. If you're walking, you have to actually toggle walk. Oh. Can I... Invalid response. Okay. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is... No, 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 no. Let me just, let me just start walking. Okay, I'm walking now. And talk to you again. No? Really? Um. Oh, God, we we don't want security to be alerted. Okay. Seriously, you're gonna follow us out? Um. Okay. Right, there's another way in. You know what? We're gonna do this st stealthily. We are gonna do this stealthily. Yes, there's another way in. We're gonna. S Hello, Mrs. Millet. What? I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Um, thanks. It was, was it, it was here, wasn't it? Yes! Actually, you know what, guys? Don't take this the wrong way, but... <coughs> stealth is not exactly your thing. So I'm gonna leave you here. Actually, I'm also gonna dump some stuff on you, Eddie. Sorry. Right, and I've got stealth boys. Right, we're gonna put stealth boy in this. St right, you guys stay down here. I'm going to scout it out and see what we've got up there. And um, I may come back and get you. I may not. That's all going to depend. Okay. Now, you know what? Let's take the stealth boy now and then turn it off because it's, it's set with a key because I'm using uh, Project Nevada. 
I also need to turn my lights off and... Oh, cat eye. I've got loads of cat eye. Cat eye is good. You know what? Right. So, yeah. Yeah, all right, it's on. Turn it off. Okay, brilliant. Is my light off? Okay. Oh. Okay, I hear the flamey handyman face identifiers. No alarm's gone off and no one's come running towards me yet. Okay. That's why I came in. Now I have to be careful. I'm going to check in here. Maybe I'll find an ID card. We have to be careful of the... Um Walls. Apparently, that's where the security bots are. You can't see them, but but they're in the walls. Nothing. I think I saw. Yes, I saw something. You know what? Let's. Just in case we have to come running back. Yep. All right. And very. I can't get. Oh God, is there? I can't get in that. Is that a? That's a chessboard password. Oh. <clears throat> Don't look. I mean, you can't see me. I'm my stealth's only fifty, but I've got a stealth boy on. Oh, would you bet that's where the passcode or something is to that thing downstairs? That's that big secure door. Okay. I'm stationary. Okay. Is he... Is he right there on the other side of this door, he is, isn't he? Yep. Okay. Okay. So he's going to go that way. And I can... And the next time he goes that way... Oh, my stealth boy's about to run out. It's about to run out. Right as he gets here. Let's top, top it up, top it up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nothing to see here. All right, he goes that way. Bye. No, Third floor it. access is for executives only. Oh! Identify. Oh. You know Invalid what? Invalid response. Ooh. Mine. I'm gonna stay here and see what happens. <sighs> okay, no alarm. Oh! I hear an alarm. Oh, I also hear sentry bots. I hear sentry bots. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Is, can he see me? No, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. If this... Okay, one's gone downstairs. No hostiles detected. Nice! Oh, God, I've got a grenade launch. It's going to run out any second. I'm going to have to just go for it. One of them's damaged. I don't know which one it is. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, oh. Oh god! Oh they... That was my stealth running out. Oh, I think, to be honest, they know I'm here now. All right. Yes. Okay. I want to get in there. Okay. I think I hear another wheeler. You. Oh. Here's Isley's briefcase. Pre war money 200. Repcon third floor security. Are you kidding me? All I had to do was get here and I could have stealth. And I could have. That would have given me access, wouldn't it? He would have said hello, whoever, Mr. Piers Isley. Oh, f Unbelievably annoying. God, I think I hear something coming. It's one of the big guys! No? Am I being paranoid? <clears throat> okay, what? Okay. Hungry and... <sighs> um, thirsty? Wait a minute. Why have I got... Why have I got a stealth meter? Um, I don't use stealth meters, thank you very much. What the hell is that? Um, where is it? Pin room balance? Excuse me, but this is... Oh, no, it wasn't miscellaneous. Stealth! Sneak indicator! None! Sneak indicator! None! So why is it started? Fine. It only appears when I open that anyway, and just don't open that. Oh. No, I wanted to leave that just in case we have to run in a massive hurry. Got that ID card. Oh, you don't think the ID card will get us in the computer, do you? Okay, stop with the beeping. No. Okay, there's one. Is he there? No, I think he's there. Let's go lob a pulse grenade at him. Oh, you believe this? I can't lob a grenade at him. <laughs> Come on. No? Did you not see where I was? You're an idiot. Oh, run! Oh! That was bad. That was really stupid. And it's time to take Hydra and run like a maniac. Where's your Hydra? Where's your Hydra? Hydra, take Hydra and run, 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 run. Oh my god. Is he coming? That was stupid. Ah, ah, what was that? Gatlin laser or something? Come on. Oh, God. Right. 
God, he crippled three limbs and almost killed me in one shot. Where is he? Wait, did I kill him? Did, <laughs> did, did my grenade get him just as he shot me? Really? Oh god. Nice! Oh! Thank you, grenades! God, those things are tough. Okay, the noise! Mm. Okay, what's... Paladin Lander. Laser rifle and powered armor for Veronica! Okay, yeah, she really liked me for this. Oh! Noise, 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 noise! Okay. And the weapon. Okay, was this... I think this is where I came in. Yeah. Well, alright, well... Now what? Okay. Stop. Okay. Got to be something here. Computer terminal. Computer terminal. Easy. Nice. Oh, God. This is annoying. Sound. Hide out. Please tell me it turns the alarm off. Unlock safe. RD Robco. Now that things have been set in motion, I am going to be your liaison and point of contact with Robco. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition to the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you well know, Robco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Repcon will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing the badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then, everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. Thanks for your time, Carl Brook. Okay. I unlocked a safe. Safe. There's a safe. Where have I got else? Okay. No, nothing, just... Really? Come on, I need a password. Tire iron, don't think I need. I need a password! Oh, you know what I don't need? More fishing batteries. I just picked up... I just picked up a great big set of armour for... Veronica. Really? Did I miss something? Did he have a... God, I got a Gauvet, it's driving me nuts. Oh. Ooh. Well, that really wasn't. Oh, God, you know what? Oh, there's no alarm down here. Are the second floor bots gonna be annoyed with me? Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Okay, doesn't look like it. Excellent. Um. Well, I got not a lot, I'm afraid. I just... Unless the MED card is what gets me in the computer. What do you think? Is that possible? Main floor, did we check everywhere around here? Yeah. Okay. It was down here, wasn't it? Here. No! Yeah! Yes! Yes! The key card! Oh. Mm. Guys, 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 guys. This, this is actually quite useful. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I meant to drag you with me. Come on. Unauthorized facial pattern what? detected. No? Valid security badge detected. Okay, right, good. Temporary access granted. 
Please complete employee registration with security. Oh, I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm, uh... I'm Mrs. Tillett. <laughs> right! Look, we opened it! We got it opened! We... Hello there. Uh, oh. I have a feeling this is going to be more for you than me. I have got some stuff for you. Damage 24, DPS. Um, laser rifle is 13. Mind you, here's the thing. It's because my energy skills double. So, in fact, this Q35... It needs microfusion cells, which also power the van. So, please go easy with it. But, hey... Why have you got a power fist on? Uh, haven't we talked about this? Yeah, you're... No, wrong one. No, you're also right. Okay. Come here! Ooh, got something good for me? Oh, Is it a dress? Oh, yeah, no. I got that. And I got that. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not sure I want you in powered armor. I'm not sure I want you in powered armor. Gotta be honest. Microfusion cells have... Have a hundred. Have 100. We'll have to find some more for you. Maybe you'll be... Yeah, you look pretty intimidating, gotta admit. But... I still don't want you running into combat thumping things. Because you don't have a helmet yet. And one shot to the head will kill you. Activate terminal? What's that do? Disengage lock. Okay, unlocking. Was that these... Was that over there? That is what I've unlocked. Scrap metal taking, scrap metal taking. Oh, I can take everything now because, of course, I've just given you the big heavy stuff. Microfusion. Nikola, Tesla, and you. And... Oh. Oh, Veronica. You are going to be pretty damned happy. Actually, I'm pretty damned happy as well. What do we have in here? All right, guys. Yes! What? Well, it didn't quite go to plan upstairs there, guys. But... Oh, can I get in here yet? No, well... Oh. <sighs> Fine. Okay, I'll admit, it was not my finest hour. But we got lots of nice little toys to play with. Especially you, Veronica. Lot of nice things to play with. Maybe you'll stop complaining about the dress now? yippee yeah. Today.